Hey there fellow YouTubers, Max here, and the following video is a video response to my good friend Manoli of Manoli's vlog, tag Thursday number 11 vlog, and yeah, it's a five question tag, and I'm going to be answering each of those five questions in a few seconds, but before I do that, a link to this vlog will be in the description of the video. And by this vlog, I mean the Tag Thursday number 11 vlog. So if you want to go check it out and answer the questions yourself, go right ahead. I'm sure my good friend Manoli would totally appreciate that. But anyway, without further ado, I will get underway with answering the questions to this tag. Question number one, would you move away from your family so you wouldn't have to see your ex again? Me personally, I would never move away from my family just to avoid seeing my ex because... If you do that, you're just showing your ex that they can still have power over you, even though you're no longer dating. It's like if you moved away just because one of your ex-friends or ex-best friends lived near you. You'd be just showing them that they can get onto your skin, even though you hate them and you don't want anything to do with them. Although, with me personally, I'm good friends with most of my ex-girlfriends, except for like two or three of them, but... None of those two or three live anywhere near me, so I wouldn't have to worry about having to move away to get away from them. So, yeah. But, in general, I would never move away from my family just to get away from my ex-girlfriends, because, let's face facts, you're just letting your ex win if you move away from your family just to avoid running into them, as it were. Question number two, what would be the perfect world? Well, basically, as many of you know, the world will never be perfect. There will always be things in the world that will keep it from being perfect. But to answer this question, I basically thought I'd give some examples of what I personally think would make the perfect world. Example number one. A perfect world would be free of any and all wars. Everybody would get along with each other and be at peace and there'd be no discrimination of any kind against anyone. There'd be no bullies in the world making fun of people and there'd also be no like different social groups like unpopular and popular groups. There would be no groups like that in the world. Everyone would belong to the same group and everyone would be friends with everyone else. There wouldn't be separate groups where people would shun other people and be mean and rude to them. Also in a perfect world, or as I like to see a perfect world, there it would be illegal to be against people for being gay, lesbian, bisexual, transsexual, black, or any ki other kind of skin color or nationality basically would it would be illegal to be against that and I know some of you are saying well that's taking away a person's right to choose what they like and what they don't like and in a way it is but as far as I'm concerned there is no good reason in my mind to be against somebody for being gay lesbian bisexual transsexual black or any nationality or religion i mean even if you don't agree with that person being of that sexuality or that religion or creed or whatever you want to go by you still have no right to put them down and make fun of them for being part of that sexual orientation or religion or creed or whatever they live by and in the perfect world that would be illegal so there would be no people putting down others for being gay or lesbian or bisexual or black or hispanic or any other type of nationality like that also in a perfect world every guy would have a girlfriend every girl would have a boyfriend every gay guy would have a gay boyfriend every lesbian girl would have a lesbian girlfriend 
basically no one in the world would be single meaning that no one would have to be sad about being single and everyone could enjoy holidays like valentine's day and new year's eve which pretty much put a lot of pressure on you to have a girlfriend and to not be single on those days because otherwise you fe end up feeling like crap if you're single on these days so yeah, everybody in the world would have a significant other and someone to love. There'd be no single people in the world whatsoever. Also, there would be... Oh, let's see here. I'm going to think about this. Oh yeah, all religions, whether they believed in it or they were against it, would celebrate Christmas and... The reason why I say this would be ideal in a perfect world is because whether your religion is for or against Christmas, no kid should have to go through the year and not be able to celebrate one of the greatest holidays in the history of the universe, which is exactly what Christmas is. Like, I know Japanese and Chinese people, they don't celebrate Christmas because they don't believe in it and... There's other reasons I'm not quite sure about, but they have the reasons for not celebrating it. And honestly, I don't think any kid should have to suffer without Christmas and stuff like that. So yeah, and let's see, what else would make the perfect world? Huh. Actually, that's all I can really think of, to be honest of what would make the perfect world. Oh yeah, I actually I can think of one more thing off the top of my head. In a perfect world, no one would be judged by their physical appearance. People would judge you by your personality and your sense of humor and other qualities about you. And reason I think this would make the make it an ideal world is because most good-looking people who end up with other who end up with other good-looking people it doesn't seem fair like in life we are constantly judged by our looks if you're a really good-looking guy you'll get a really good-looking girl no problem but if you're an average looking guy like say me for example you're not going to get the really good looking girl in most cases, except if you're lucky enough to find like a really nice, really pretty girl who's into average looking guys. But most of the, in most cases, most really good looking girls aren't going to go for the average guy. And I've always thought that's wrong that they judge that those type of girls judge a guy solely based on their looks and not much else. And some of you may say that those type of girls don't judge you solely on your looks, but when you think about it, those type of girls do judge you on that. I mean, you take a really good looking girl who's with a really good looking guy, and you can't honestly tell me that one of the main reasons that good looking girl is with that good looking guy is because the guy is, happens to be good looking. It doesn't matter to if, anywhere, it doesn't matter if they don't have that much in common as long as they're good looking and they can show the guy off to their friends. And the same can be said with guys. You can't say that a good looking guy is going to be with a good looking girl because they have a lot in common. One of the main factors a good looking guy dates a good looking girl is because she's physically attractive and he can brag about Tall's friends. Oh, hey, look at this really good looking girl and whatnot. This is my girlfriend. She's mine. And be jealous and all this stuff. But yeah, that's all I can really think of of stuff that would make the perfect world. So yeah. Anyway, moving on. Question number three. What do you think people with millions in the bank think about the middle class? Honestly, this is a pretty simple for me to answer. For the most part, rich people think that people that are less fortunate than them are below them and beneath them and pretty much worthless compared to them. I mean, I'm not going to say that all rich people are like this. I mean, you get the odd nice rich people that donate to charities and do charitable work and stuff like that. But for the most part, 
most rich people, the way I like to believe, is they think less of us. They think they're better than us because they have more money. And to be honest, having more money doesn't make you better than someone. You may think it makes you better, but it doesn't. Because I've seen plenty of people that don't have a lot of money and they are some of the nicest most caring considerate people you could ever know and there are rich people that are the same way but for the most part rich people are stuck up they're rude in the grand scheme of things if take for example you were to take a filthy stinking rich guy or girl and you were to take away their millions of dollars for a week and basically give them a middle class income to live off of for a whole week or a whole month i guarantee you most of those rich people would wouldn't be able to last living on a the income of an average family in today's world they would crumble within the first day or two because they're so used to having their high lifestyle where Everything comes easy to them and they don't have to work for anything. They can just get other people to work for them and stuff like that. I mean, the way I look at it, I see a lot of rich people taking their money for granted. I mean, rich people, they got it easy. They pretty much don't have to worry about anything that happens in the world. They have no trouble getting beautiful women to date them, even if or beautiful people to date them even if those people are only dating them for their money they have live in nice houses they have nice cars nothing pretty much is beyond their reach they can go to awesome concerts and stuff and get VIP seats and all that and yeah I think a lot of people that are rich don't realize how good they have it or if they do they just don't consider, they just don't sit back and take the time to consider what life would be like if they didn't have all that money and wealth and stuff like that. And most rich people wouldn't last on a low income family budget if they were put in that situation. So yeah, I don't, to be honest, I don't think a lot of rich people care all that much about the middle class. Some pe rich people do, but most of them don't care about the middle class and they think less of us because we have less money than they do. Even though we're just as good of people as they are and just as nice and friendly. And we can be just as talented as stuff as they, uh, just as talented at stuff as they are. Sorry, I kind of rambled on there for a little bit, but yeah, anyway. Question number four, what do you feel about your life right now? Honestly, in some ways my life kind of sucks right now, but in others it doesn't suck. Like, I'm happy that I have plenty of friends that are there for me and will stick by me no matter what and will do nice things to cheer me up when I'm feeling down. But at the same time, I live in a town where I don't have hardly any friends I don't have any friends to hang out with. I do have friends where I live, but they always seem to be busy doing other stuff and they never have time to hang out with me, which honestly really frustrates me because I'd really like to get to know them and they don't even bother to take the time to get to know me, which is really annoying. And plus, I don't have a part-time job. I work for a newspaper currently because I've had trouble getting an actual job and I just don't have a good paying job. I have a job that works that I get, I work once a week and I get paid once a month and it kind of sucks and I've tried getting a better job but I haven't had much luck there. So yeah, for the most part my life in Midland isn't that great. Although there are some nice things about it. The fact that I get cable TV I would have never got where I was living before. I have plenty of friends online that I talk to on a regular basis that always seem to cheer me up or make me smile when I'm feeling down. And from time to time friends of mine from Barrie will come up and visit me and 
hang out with me and that always makes me feel good so yeah kind of a give and take thing there are some things I don't like about my life and other things that I do but yeah anyway the final question question number five do you have any grandkids obviously I don't have any grandkids because in order to have grandkids you have to have kids to have those grandkids so no I don't have grandkids so that was pretty simple to answer Anyway, this has been a video response to Manoli's tag Thursday number 11. Like I said at the beginning of this vlog, link to this tag will be in the description of this video. So if you want to check it out and answer the questions yourself, you can. And yeah. Anyway, I am Max Callen saying good night, good evening, good morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I hope you've enjoyed learning some more about me. Talk to you later, everybody. Bye for now.